Next, then you talked about reporting metrics measurement. So what do you what types of what types of reports or reporting or metrics are you building out for each different type of stakeholder in the organization? So marketing, sales, um, maybe C level, and then subsequently water falling down into management or director level, maybe even down to rep level, but probably not. But you know, what what sort of tools and and, and sorry, reports, metrics, measurement are you putting in place and how do you think about doing that? Yeah, so you know the way I usually think about um, uh, reports and dashboardings and really like KPIs is um, leading and lagging indicators. So laggings, you know, lagging indicators are pretty pretty straightforward. You know, think about okay, what was your conversion rate over this period of time? What was your win rate? What was uh, your ACV or you know average uh, closing um, average average selling price? You know, th- those things can easily be calculated. Um, Based on the the results that you see, I think what's a, a lot more interesting. Obviously, those those are going to be the you know the key, um, really the, the 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 KPIs that you want to put in place that you can measure the business against, and those are the, going to be the KPIs that are built into your your go to market model. So that you know if if you're starting to miss on on certain KPIs like conversion rate, win rate, ACV, um, you're you know you're, you're going to start to t- to see those results uh, on the scoreboard very quickly. But by the time you start to see the you know the revenue dip below where the plan is, that's you're way too late. So you know the, one of the keys is figuring out what those leading indicators are, so that you can suss out problems and build almost like an early warning system before it's before it's way too late. What will tend to happen is you know if you're um, let's say your marketing machine is starting to either hit its you know point of diminishing returns or uh, the messaging is just not landing anymore or um, you know, you're, there's a new competitor on the market that your uh, your old demand or the demand that you used to get is starting to go to this other competitor. Uh, by the time that you know that that lead would usually turn into a qualified lead that would be uh, brought into a sales cycle by an AE that would eventually close. By the time that that lagging indicator starts to to go down, you're going. You know, that could be depending on you know what type of business it is, and um, you know this could be anywhere from like 30 days to 180 days. Um, by the time you figure out that that your revenue is going down, that's you know you're 180 t- days too late to to solving the problem. You know, really understanding what those lagging indicators are, and and understanding that you should be really fucking concerned if you're the you're used to seeing let's say 3,000 inbound leads uh, against your you know that one channel the uh, that one of four channel or your inbound leads. If you start to see that that uh, that number go down by 10 percent, the next month go down by another 10 percent, you should be really really worried. And you should address that right up front. Um, and the only way you're going to do that is by having really good, uh, you know, reporting, reporting analytics against those. And the sophistication or the support by leadership that if you see that metric go down, that you, you can call fire and go address it right away. Right. Versus just, you know, thinking, you know, having your leadership team say, hey, the numbers look good today. Like we're closing as much revenue. Why should we be worried? 